just in Savannah last year with Forrest Gump. And my speech will be short. I've got to go pee. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if you remember, Forrest told President Johnson that in the movie. Yep. <laughs> she did Josie did not approve that in the speech. <laughs> but Madam Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to say farewell to many friends today. And I want to leave you some important wisdomisms. You can say that. Most of you know I do not speak often on the floor. But when I do, it's on the issue I'm very passionate about. I also have the reputation of asking a lot of questions in the committee. But I try to be respectful in the committee. I don't try to make someone feel terrible. Um, I always try to address them by their titles. I prepare for the meetings and the questions are to be sure that I understand the issues before I vote. I have many people to thank today, but I want you to know who the journal is in my office, and that's Josie. When I was an Air Force Colonel, serving the Air Force for 27 years, I was known as Josie's husband. When I was a diplomat, I was known as Josie's husband. And as a state representative, I'm Josie's husband. All of you know Josie more than me, or better than me, mainly the governors. Uh, and all I've accomplished here, she has been an equal partner. I'm a unique member of this chamber in that I, with Andy, Bill, Sal, and I don't think even Phil qualifies for this, or Debbie. I served in the majority, in a minority, in the super minority, and in the 30-30 house. Yeah, the 30-30 house was nice, but I liked the majority better. <laughs> I'm honest, I tell you how to get pee. <laughs> In the 3030 House, I volunteered to serve with Paul Hovey. The lobby was betting we would be the first committee to break up. We weren't. We stayed together and we passed some good legislation. It was fun to tell Paul no. <laughs> I've worked successfully with many of you on important issues like children and families, school nurses, visual screening, cost of higher education, ELL, poverty students, veterans issues, and transparency and accountability. And for the last, I don't know if, any, if everyone can say this either, for the last six terms, all my bills have been bipartisan. I want to thank all the House District 53 constituents for their support, providing me their opinions, sometimes pretty rough, but, uh, and Josie have, and I've been very blessed with uh, legislative assistants and interns. Um, I've only had four uh, LAs in uh, 15 years. Vicki Olson, now working with Representative Beretta, was one of the four. I've got interns that are in law school. Where's Caleb? Did he get here? Um, practicing law, serving as a deputy DA in Lane County, S has served in the military. They're out now. I had one intern who owned and sold Ten Barrel Brewery in Bend for a lot of money. Um, I appreciate and I've worked with some great people in the House Republican office um, and leader Mike McLean has been a friend before he came here and he's done a great job uh, in the Republican office. It's a tough job. I appreciate the speaker's office. I worked a lot with the speaker's office. She kept changing a lot of the staff, especially on some of the education and ELL uh, bills that we passed. And even the speaker and I, I didn't mean, I shouldn't say, the speaker and I also worked on some important issues together, including school nurses, visual screening, and retaining manufactured homes for affordable housing. If she would have given me these new committees she gave me this time, 
capital construction and joint audits, I might have reconsidered this action, but no. Um, I want to appreciate and thank the House Clerk. The speaker appointed me to select our current House Clerk uh, in the process. His staff, Sergeant at Arms and their staff, state police officers, the committee staff, Janelle and her team, the IT team, especially Bud and Chris. The, I, I want to thank all the lobbyists. Um, I tell people in my campaign speeches, which I'll no longer be presenting, is that um, the lobby is really a staff. Uh, you can't be an expert on everything, so you get listen to them and learn who you can trust, and, and they provide you valuable information to make your decision. Um, the um, human resources staff, the agency people, and um, many have I've not mentioned, like Debbie and other people have tried to say. Um, I've tried to set standards and examples as a statesman for all of my honorable colleagues. Uh, Val Hoyle, I think, when she left us last session or session before, she's commented on my always addressing you as an honorable colleague. You earned the protocol title of honorable when you were elected. However, my behavior and your behavior is what earns the title protocol. And I hope that's to remind us all that we need the actions we do earn you that title of uh, uh, honorable. I also started, Josie said not to say, but I really started because I lost my pen, <laughs> my legislative pen, wearing a pen with the uh, U.S. flag and the Oregon flag. Because I thought about that and I said, I'm going to keep wearing that because I've sworn in eight times in our oath of office that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Oregon, State of Oregon. I don't have to tell you this, but this is a great job, great honor, an awesome responsibility that I have been so blessed to experience. But you, the people, make the experience, and I've had the pleasure of working with some of the best during my career. I cry at parades <laughs> and movies. Um, it's not that you have to go to pee. <laughs> after our term, Josie and I look forward to more travel and the time of our family in North Carolina, but we've adopted the state of Oregon as our home, and we'll be here. Thank you all for your support and trust. God bless you all, your family, state of Oregon, and go Tar Heels against Duke today. Love, Gene and Joseph.